Welcome to the exclusive Cowboys News Channel. Today we have a story that promises to excite all fans of the team. We're talking about Jake Ferguson, the young talent destined to become the new star tight end for the Dallas Cowboys. With Dalton Schultz departing in free agency, a big question emerged, who would step up as the primary receiving option at tight end? Jake Ferguson, a second-year player from the University of Wisconsin, quickly answered that challenge with impressive results. In his second year, Ferguson amazed everyone with 71 receptions for 761 yards and five touchdowns. This performance not only established him as a standout figure on the team, but also earned him a selection to the 2023 Pro Bowl, an impressive achievement for such a young player. But for Jake Ferguson, this is just the beginning. In a recent interview with DallasCowboys.com, Ferguson revealed he isn't satisfied with his performance yet and is determined to improve even further. I'm talking about my consistency and preparation, Ferguson shared. For me, I feel like I haven't even started to show my true potential. There are many areas I want to improve on, and I know I can do it. We watch film every day of different games, even of the practices we're doing now, and I think, okay, I can still improve a lot. The young player credits much of his success to the constant guidance from his tight ends coach, Lunda Wells, who challenges him to be exceptional in every practice session and every game. This mindset of continuous improvement has earned him respect and admiration from teammates, coaches, and team management alike. Furthermore, Ferguson has gained the trust of his starting quarterback and head coach, who do not hesitate to praise his energy, passion, and work ethic. The departure of Michael Gallup to Las Vegas could also open up new receiving opportunities for Ferguson, further solidifying his role as a key piece in the Cowboys' offense. With all these expectations and the full support of his team, Jake Ferguson is gearing up for an exciting season full of challenges. Fans can expect to see him shine even brighter on the field, perhaps surpassing his own records from last year. Stay tuned for more updates on the Cowboys and how Jake Ferguson is ready to lead the charge in the upcoming season. This is just the beginning of what promises to be an extraordinary career for this young Cowboys talent. Cowboys target Kim Akers as key addition to their backfield. The Dallas Cowboys, one of the NFL's most iconic teams, are stepping up efforts to strengthen their backfield for the upcoming season. Following several moves in free agency and Tony Pollard's departure to the Titans, the team has identified Cam Akers, a former Super Bowl champion, as a potential candidate to complement Ezekiel Elliott and Rico Dowdle at the running back position. Akers, at just 25 years old, has drawn interest due to his undeniable talent and the possibility of acquiring him on a veteran minimum contract, which could represent a low financial risk for the Cowboys. Despite his injury history, his youth and ability to make an impact on the field make him an attractive option for any team looking to add depth at running back. Interest in Akers isn't limited to Dallas alone. Teams like the Baltimore Ravens, known for their focus on the ground game, see Akers as a solid option after dealing with multiple injuries at the running back position last season. With Derrick Henry assuming a pivotal role but concerns over persistent injuries, the Ravens are evaluating Akers as a potential rotational complement. Meanwhile, the New Orleans Saints, despite having a strong backfield led by Alvin Kamara and backed by Jamal Williams, view Akers as an addition that could further bolster their depth amid roster changes. Akers' Super Bowl experience and ability to adapt to different roles could prove valuable for a team aiming to maintain competitiveness in the league. The Los Angeles Chargers, under Jim Harbaugh's leadership, are focusing their strategy on the ground game, seeing Akers as a key piece alongside Dobbins and Edwards, both with extended injury histories. If these runners fully recover for the upcoming season, Akers could be part of a dynamic trio that propels the Chargers' offense to new levels of success. Finally, the Kansas City Chiefs, after retaining Clyde Edwards Hilaire as their starting running back, are considering Akers as an addition who could bring crucial experience, especially in playoff situations. Despite not standing out statistically, Akers could offer valuable perspective from his involvement in the Super Bowl, adding depth behind Edwards Hilaire and setting the stage for future seasons. 
The potential signing of Cam Akers represents a strategic move not only for the Cowboys, but also for several NFL teams looking to strengthen their rosters before the season begins. With multiple options and strategies in play, Akers' final decision could make a significant difference in the league's balance of power. Amari Cooper, the standout receiver for the Cleveland Browns, has decided to skip the team's mandatory camp. The reason? Contract Negotiations Cooper is in the final year of his current contract, signed in 2020 while playing for the Dallas Cowboys. At nearly 30 years old, he's coming off a strong season with 1,250 receiving yards in 2023, making him a desirable target for many teams. The Browns may be willing to extend his contract, but after securing Jerry Judy, they might opt not to pay another receiver as highly. This has led to speculation that Cooper could be traded to another team willing to make an attractive offer. Here are three teams that could be interested in acquiring Cooper via trade. In third place, we have the Arizona Cardinals. After a disappointing season with a 4-13 record, the Cardinals are looking to bounce back in 2024. With Kyler Murray fully recovered and showing a 3-5 record under his leadership last season, compared to 1-8 without him, the team is looking to add more offensive weapons. They recently drafted Marvin Harrison, Jr., a new talent who could greatly benefit from having an experienced mentor like Cooper. With $35.527 million in cap space, the Cardinals have the capital to make a significant move and form a potent offense around Murray. In second place, we find the Los Angeles Chargers. This season, they have lost Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, leaving a group of young receivers like Joshua Palmer, Quentin Johnston, and rookie lad McConkey. With Justin Herbert as their star quarterback, the Chargers need a veteran receiver who can lead and consistently produce. Cooper could fill this void perfectly, providing Herbert with a reliable and explosive target to maximize their offensive potential. Finally, in first place, we have the Washington Commanders. With Jaden Daniels taking over as the starting quarterback and Dan Quinn as the new head coach, Washington is in rebuilding mode. Quinn has brought in several former Cowboys players to strengthen their defense and is now looking to upgrade their offense. Having a receiver of Cooper's caliber alongside Terry McLaurin would be a significant boost for Daniels, a rookie who needs solid support for his rapid development in the league. With flexible budgeting due to Daniel's rookie contract, Washington could be aggressive in acquiring offensive talent. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through Cowboys news. From Jake Ferguson shining as the new rising star to strategic moves in free agency, don't miss a detail of what's to come in the upcoming season. Subscribe, like, and share your opinions in the comments. Join the conversation and be part of the Cowboys' future with us.